Three words that describe Micah would be curious, definitely, wild, <laughs> absolutely wild. He's the wildest boy I've ever met, and certain. Adventurous, audacious, and loving. So cheeky, so mischievous, um, and just full of life. Bold and beautiful and fiery and just so free. Curious, determined, chaotic. He's a daredevil, which I think is, is so cool. He has an adventurous spirit. He likes to be moving. He likes things to be happening. Micah is our little star, and it's no wonder he's the Be Beautiful, Be Yourself ambassador. Micah is probably the biggest inspiration in my life. He is full of life in every possible way, and he's a beam of light for us all the time. We're always amazed by Micah. I don't know, and maybe that's just the gift of it when you You've learned, when you have a child with Down syndrome, you've learned to not put expectations on things. And he has brought so much love and uniqueness into our family that, in a way that is earth shattering. I had a healthy pregnancy up till, you know, the day that Michael was born. The idea that he might have Down syndrome was never on our radar. After she gave birth, and um, the doctor came in, the first thing she said is, oh, your son has Down syndrome. And Amanda and I, not having any prenatal testing or any understanding, looked at each other and just said, excuse me? And we were like, well, I, I think you're wrong. He seems great and healthy, so we're just gonna go home. So we lived the first three months of Micah's life without any understanding or any knowledge that he had Down syndrome. We had four months to get to know who Micah was as a, as a person. And so receiving the diagnosis was just like, okay, well, we put it on a paper and we move on. They really didn't skip a beat. It was just kind of like, okay, so he has Down syndrome. Once you gain knowledge about something and you can make sense of things, then it's just not so scary anymore. Like it truly was a new life for us. It was, we had shed the, the shell of like what we thought life was going to be and we started actually living what life is going to be. And then we started building those expectations up again and then we got the autism diagnosis. When we received Micah's dual diagnosis of autism, along with his Down syndrome, he was three, and it was a major shock. And I think, again, we were in, you know, this disillusioned state where we were like, I don't think he, he doesn't really have autism. He just has a speech delay. It felt like a one-two punch, you know, at the at the time. We were prepared for anything at that point, though. You know, we, we knew that we were gonna take on the world uh, with Micah whatever whatever happened. And at the end of the day, all that it is, having a dual diagnosis, is learning Micah better. Putting something on a piece of paper does not change who he already is and will be. Having Micah as my son has changed my world in, in every way imaginable. Because of Micah, I'm able to live a life with my eyes open to the world. She's nurture, she's she's educate, she's protect, you know. Mine, I think, is really, um, you know, keep him wild. And that's what I aim to do with him, is I, I wanna keep that kid wild. Watching Mike shift into the dad Micah needed him to be, instead of maybe the dad he wanted to be, is the most, I mean, it's the most powerful thing. And usually when something is difficult is when you receive the, the best gift in your life. The best days I've ever had are getting to shoot magazine covers while holding the person I love most on, on this earth and then knowing that it's actually doing more work by just existing in the world and people seeing him on magazine covers or on their TV and commercials. Don't be, don't be. Don't be. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go 
be sorry, okay? My name is Sage Price. My name is uh, Annabella Casanova, and we did a short film called Jackie and the Rats, which starred Micah and Amanda, and um, we're now working on the feature version of it. The thing with actors usually is that you feel like they're acting, they know that they're acting. With Micah, he's not, he's not acting, he's being himself and that creates magic. He's always himself and so true to himself, so he really represents that in the Be Beautiful, Be Yourself fashion show. I think the Be Beautiful, Be Yourself fashion show is a phenomenal event. It's a place where we get to celebrate all of our kiddos. I've been on runways and I've been to Milan Fashion Week, and this is better. And not only is that just exciting that people are inspired by the Be Beautiful, Be Yourself event, they're raising important funds to continue the medical research that, that, is, that is going on. I couldn't believe that, that Down syndrome was one of the most underfunded um, you know, disabilities out there. It, 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 it made me you know, enraged. <laughs> Ambassador Micah and his family are why we are here. Why we, the scientists at the Sydney Institute, are dedicated to Down syndrome research. In just a few years, our work on the immune system, Alzheimer's disease, and other co-occurring conditions of Down syndrome is making a real difference in their lives. The Global Down Syndrome Foundation gets Congress to pay attention and does all of these things. That's good for everybody who does Down syndrome research. And combined with Michelle Witten's unbelievable effectiveness with Congress and with the NIH. It has made a great team. An estimated 16% of people with Down syndrome also have autism. I've had the privilege of working with hundreds of such kiddos. Global support helps us make such a big difference. Amanda, Mike, Micah, and their family deserve to know that their future is bright, and we're delivering on that. If you, could, if you could climb a mountain and stand on the top and just yell and, and know everyone is going to hear you, it's what I would, I would talk about the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. The work that Global does ensures that my nephew will be able to have the best, most prosperous, and longest life that he can possibly live. Everybody needs support and love to feel fully themselves and to reach their fullest potential. Micah's no different but his potential is so awesome. You know, he's, he's pushing boundaries every day. We're watching him put the pieces together of, of life, of understanding, of communication in his own very special way. Uh, he's determined to communicate what is making him happy and fulfilled. I mean, my hope, my hope for Micah is that he gets to exist in the world feeling loved and accepted. That's it.